<laughs> Have no idea what's in this box. I ain't never got the uh the tender box before. But which I like. Is he really finna eat all that food? Never know, I might. Cause I is kinda hungry. Man, that look good. I ain't never figured out, boy, why they give you a biscuit and french fries. That's all bread, ain't it? Biscuits and stuff. I, I like. I mean, I like biscuits in the morning. Want to eat McDonald's or something? But, uh, I already got the fries. I ain't gonna mess with that biscuit too quick. I know I was in, I was in a, I was in the line at KFC for approximately 30 minutes to get this meal. And, you know, I actually ordered the pot pie, the chicken pot pie, but they were out of those, so I had to get there. And the ticket strips ain't too bad. I ain't really complain. But y'all wondering what company I'm gonna be talking about, y'all bet. I bet y'all thought KFC was a company itself, huh? <laughs> no, there's actually a whole corporation that actually owns KFC. And Taco Bell. They own those franchises. Which I will be talking about. In a little bit. After I finish my dinner here. Mm, let's see, honey mustard. Right, let me talk about that. Day. Actually, this company owns uh, they own the KFC franchises. They own the Taco Bell franchises. They also own the Pizza Hut franchises. There's one company. Worldwide and nationwide. I didn't get no pizza because I got a freezer full of pizza, so. I don't have a freezer full of KFC. Let me try this honey mustard real quick here. See what this be like. Mm, I like honey. I like mustard. Honey mustard. some with this up. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. Well, anyway. Like I 
sit here and eat my whole meal in front of y'all. Cause that would just be totally rude. But in the next clip, I'm gonna turn y'all on to the company. Cause I look at it this way, um, I was in that line to get this KFC for approximately 30 minutes. I turned my timer on just to see how long I was gonna sit there and wait. Cause it was like the second time I'd have been to KFC this week. Now actually they moved, they, they got a little faster because the first time I was there, I was in a line for almost an hour. It was like 47 minutes. So they got a little faster, but the lines are really long because you know people can't go inside and get their food. You know, no eating inside. They got they got they got they got they use Grubhub to uh for their deliveries, which is really cool. So I expect the lines to be long because the line was kind of long at Taco Bell too. But um point I was trying to make is people are always going to eat and you know Americans you know we love chicken you know KFC is like an icon and you know people love Taco Bell so I look at it this way I mean people are going to always eat we're going through a crisis shoot over 26 million unemployment claims in the U.S. Right now, probably over that now. But people still got to eat. That ain't going nowhere. As long as, you know, KFC handle their business, you know, they, they, you know, they, uh, I'm not saying every single, you know, franchise, you know, supposed to be doing, you know, but, you know, people make mistakes. We're all human. As long as they're doing what they're supposed to do, they're going to sell hella chicken. And Taco Bell going to sell hella tacos. Actually, this is a Taco Supreme, I think, yeah. So, okay, that mug heavy. Look at that. Y'all hear that, too? Watch what hit the table. Right. That's heavy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Without eating all this chicken, so I'm yeah, I'm pretty full. Hold on. I'm going to turn y'all on to this dividend pair. And on Pizza Hut, KFC, and the Taco Bell franchises. Tell me what y'all think. But I think, uh, I think it's a pretty good company. I haven't really looked at the numbers yet, but I will. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure I get the numbers to you. So without further ado, I'm about to get that pop. All right.
Yo, yo, yo. I'd like to welcome you guys to another episode of Stock Market Cash Flow. I'm your host, Alfonso, the Dividend Seeker. I'm not a stockbroker, I'm not a CPA, and I'm not a financial advisor. And this is not a recommendation. And the company in focus today, Yum Brand, symbol Y-U-M. I'm going to read a little description uh, about Yum Brands. And the description for this, uh, this company will be down below. Um, Young Brands Inc. develops, operates, and franchises quick service restaurants worldwide. It operates in three segments, the KFC division, the Pizza Hut division, and the Taco Bell division. The company operates restaurants under the KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell brands, which specialize in chicken, pizza, and Mexican-style food categories. As of December 31st, 2018, it had 22,621 KFC units, 18,431 Pizza Hut units, and 7,072 Taco Bell units in approximately 140 countries and territories. That's what's up. The company was formerly known as Tricon Global Restaurants, Inc., and changed its name to Young Brands, Inc. in May 2002. Young Brands, Inc. was incorporated in 1997 and is headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky. This company is 23 years old. All right, get into a few numbers here. Uh, as the, at the production of this video, the price was at eighty-eight dollars and nineteen cent. The fifty-two week high is one nineteen seventy-two. Has a market cap of twenty-six point fifty-four billion. First dividend paid was two thousand and four. So, Young Brand has been paying shareholders dividends for 16 years, at least 16 years. Young Brand pays an annual dividend of $1.88 per share. Uh, I'm not sure that's right. Because I use two different websites to get my information and shoot. They always both be different by a couple percent. Young's most recent quarterly dividend payment was made to shareholders of record on Friday, March 6, 2020. The company has grown its dividend for the last two consecutive years and is increasing its dividend by an average of 16.14% each year. Young brand pays out 52.96% of its earnings as a dividend. That's pretty good. They got, definitely got room for increase. So, let's get to this meat and potatoes. So, one million invested into Young Brands at 2.13%. That would be $21,300. Divide that by four, that's $5,325 every three months in passive cash flow. That concludes this episode of Stock market cash flow, and y'all be safe. Peace.